The sound you are listening to right now is the original sound coming from my cheap Android phone, which I'm using to record this video right now. In this room, there are fans up here rotating, and I currently live in a PC area with a lot of background noise coming from outside. Let's change that. Right now, I'm still currently recording from my phone, only that the sound has been enhanced with AI, and you can tell the difference. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make any trash audio looks like it's been recorded in a professional studio, or should I say, be recorded using a fancy microphone. I don't want to add that I have a USB microphone, but I do have a cable to clamp this microphone to. And I also have another microphone here, this is a Lavalier microphone, the Booyah BYMY, which is a good microphone by the way. But the clip, the clamp has been damaged, so I cannot use this. I cannot plant this to my. But without this, I just use my phone to record myself and then let the eye do the rest. Note that if you have a cheap microphone like this one or any other inexpensive microphone, you can still use the microphone and then let the eye and then use AI to enhance your audio. So the way I make my sound better is that I first record myself. That's the first thing you have to do. Now, before recording yourself, I want you to know that the closer you are to your phone, the better the sound. So if you want to be far from your phone, you should use a, an inexpensive microphone so that a microphone that can be attached to your button or that can be closer to your mouth just to have the best quality sound. Because I can make this sound, this sound is looking good, but you can make, it can be made better if, I have, if I'm using a microphone. So what you can also do is use another person's phone. If you have another phone with you, you can use that phone to record yourself. You just have to put the phone maybe on the chair or on your laps where, where the video cannot be seen or it's not showing on the in the frame. If you don't have any cheap microphone or another phone you can use as audio, you should make sure your phone, which is your camera, is at arm's length. But the only problem with this method is that when you get closer to the phone, you won't be able to zoom in or zoom out of post. But if you want that ultra wide, if you want that wide shot, then you should be using the ultra wide camera that your phone already has, if your phone has one. For example, if you are using an iPhone, the Pro or Pro Max series, then you should come with an ultra wide camera that is also the same quality as the main camera. The only problem is that with my phone right now, I cannot use the ultra wide camera because when I switch to ultra wide, the quality is not that very good as the main sensor. So I just have to stick with the main sensor. But just know that the closer the phone microphone is to you, the better the audio. So the next thing you want to do is to extract your audio from your video. You can use any app to extract your audio, but for this video, I'll be using VLC. You can also download any app from the Google Play Store or Apple Store that can extract audio from video for you. But for this video, I'll just go stick with VLC. So I'll go to VLC and then I'll head over to Media, then click on Converge slash Save. Then you want to add the video you want to convert to an audio so this video i'll go with this video then click on open then click on convert like save you are converted to mp3 make sure this is checked so make sure that the location you are saving the audio is different from the location of where the video is so i'll click on browse then i'll click on this let me save in this location right here and i'll click on save then click on start and that audio has been extracted so you can look for the location where the audio has been saved. So here we have the audio. And I think this is the right time to subscribe to the channel if you've not done that. So you can be seeing more videos like this. And also hit the like button. I really appreciate that. The next thing you have to do is to upload your audio to this AI website. So you go to podcast.adobe.com slash enhance. I'll place a link to the website in the description below. So what you want to do is to create an account. If you already have an Adobe account, then you don't need to create an account already. So all you just have to do is to sign in, sign into your account. Now you just have to upload your audio here. So I just click on choose files and then pick the audio file and upload it right here. Upload it right in the website. So next, you can download your audio file. Lastly, you want to match your audio with your video. And to do this, you need a video editing software. The software I use to edit my video is CapCut. So let's head over to the CapCut app. So right here in the CapCut app, you want to click on a new project. Then you can import your video and audio. 
so what you just have to do is to drag the video to the timeline and also the audio to the timeline so what i love doing before i start editing my video is that i usually right click on the video file then click on extract audio then the next thing is to delete this audio by clicking on the backspace or delete key on your keyboard then the next thing i do is to select these two audio files together then you right click on it and create create compound clip so you have the video file attached together now you can start editing your videos and cutting every unnecessary space from your video and with this we're able to take our video from this the sound you are listening to right now is the original sound came from my cheap android phone which i'm using to record this video right now to this the sound you are listening to right now is the original sound coming from my cheap Android phone, which I'm using to record this video right now. So this is how I improve my audio sound from sounding like trash to sounding like a studio record. So that's it for this video. If you follow this process duly, you should have a good audio. Hope the sound for your next video should be perfect. My name is Victor Smith, and I'll see you guys in the next one.